Hello, I'm Timo Müllemäki and in this video I'm replating a leaking trumpet or actually cornet valve. Now I have done electroplating to some extent, but I have never before replated a brass instrument valve. But since I couldn't find any video on the topic, I decided to make my own. Valves are part of the instrument which is constantly in move, and when metal rubs to metal, it will start to wear over the time. When the gap between the valve and its casing comes big enough, the air will start to leak. This will make the instrument sound dull and airy, and may cause valve sticking issues. Valves are made from three main materials. Monel metal is an alloy which is used in valves of the most top range instruments today. Its main ingredient is nickel, but it contains also many other metals. Monel is an extremely hard metal and resistant to corrosion. Stainless steel is maybe the most common valve material. It is not as hard as monel, but easier to manufacture. Stainless steel is used mostly in mid-range instruments, but also some professional horns, like the Eclipse trumpets, count on it. Finally, there are nickel-plated valves, where nickel layer is plated over a valve of some other material, like stainless steel. Some vintage instruments used nickel plating over brass valves, but nowadays it is not a so popular option anymore. The professional instrument manufacturer Getzen swears by nickel plated valves because of its undeniable advantages. It is hard, smooth and corrosion resistant. The difference of materials is really hard to tell by the eye, as you can see. Well, how can you tell if a valve is leaking? The easiest way would be using a magnahelic pressure difference device, like the one from J.L. Smith. They are quite expensive though, and not many of has one laying around. One easy option is to wiggle the valve stem a little. If the stem wiggles, there is a high probability that your valve is leaking. I have here an old pusher cornet from 1940s, where some movement can be noticed. If I make a blow test with the end of the slide covered, some sizzle is sounding out, so the valve is leaking. Now, when you think you need a replating, the best option is to contact a professional company specialized in valve jobs, like the Osmond Music or Anderson Plating in the US. Valves are an essential part of the instrument and you want them to work flawlessly. When valve job is done right, both the valve and its casing are machined absolutely straight and spotless. The valve is then plated a little too thick and then lap it to match the casing perfectly. The end result is often better than new, but it takes time and money. And now what I'm going to do is just to make sure that the parts are round and straight and that the surface of the valve is clean. And then I will do the replating straight on. I will first plate the valve with copper to correct thickness and then do the final layer with nickel. You have to keep in mind that copper won't plate easily over stainless steel and nickel won't plate easily over bare brass. In my case the valve is already nickel plated, so both copper and nickel plating should be fine. So let's start the process. I will first inspect the valve and its casing for roundness and straightness. Then I will lap the valve a little to true the surface. I will then buff the valve to make sure the surface is smooth. I'm starting off by electro cleaning the surface to remove all crease. 
then distilled water and a short acid dip to make the surface ready for plating. Then the copper plating. I will need to leave the valve there for maybe an hour. There are some calculators on the web for counting the plating time for needed thickness. I have a motor which is stirring the electrolyte so that the copper would take on evenly around the valve. An hour has passed, so I'm taking the valve out. too long. The valve doesn't fit to the casing anymore. I need to lap the valve. Now it moves nicely in the casing. I will then do the final layer with nickel. is now ready and it still fits to the casing. Then the moment of truth with the flow test. No sizzle sounding out. maybe not perfect, but at least it's better than it was. So, I think I got this valve to a somewhat better condition and learned something new during the process. I now just have to repeat this all for the other two valves. I hope you found this video useful and got some idea of why you need a replating and how it's being done. If you like my videos, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.